today we're talking about how to win the war for talent. Hi Matt, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. I'm sure your budget isn't endless, so how do you prioritize what skills you're looking for and what people? When I joined Uber in mid-2015, I was the first lawyer in London, and I am absolutely a generalist, um, a jack of all, and a, a master of none, for sure. Um, uh, and in the, early, in the early days, in that first year, we generally concentrated on bringing in similar types of people. Uh, people that um, had a broad skill set and that were able to roll their sleeves up and, and deal with whatever came in the door. And, and frankly, during that period of time, no one quite knew what was going to come in the door next. Over time, we've brought in more litigators and, and regulatory specialists. Um, and part of that is the direction that the, the business is going in and the things that the business wants to do. Um, but there's also external factors as well. So if we see um, in the last 18 months, we've had PSD2 and GDPR come in. So we've recruited more payments lawyers and, um, and privacy specialists, as, as many companies have um, around the region. So Matt, after years working for an innovative, disruptive company, based on that experience, what advice would you give young talent that is looking to work in the same environment? Be curious. So. Um, and be open to, to all of the different opportunities that working in, as you say, disruptive and innovative companies uh, brings. Having courage to give your advice in a way that, uh, on the one hand, um, doesn't sugarcoat anything, but on the other doesn't cry wolf. And finding, finding that balance um, to advise fearlessly is very important. How does Uber position itself as the great workplace, I'm sure it is, to attract new talent? If you look at Uber's, Uber's plans for the years to come, there is so much variety and so much um, diversity in terms of the types of things that the company will look to do with the platform that we've built, um, that anyone coming in now will still have amazing growth opportunities, whether that's in terms of uh, growing teams under them in particular countries, whether it's in terms of going to work in different places. I've been lucky enough to, to move myself and my family to Amsterdam in the last 18 months or um, whether it is um, moving around the products that they work on and the different business lines that they're going to, going to be able to um, work, work with and offer their advice on. Is diversity in your team a priority for you? Yeah, diversity is absolutely essential. We're talking about di diversity of um, culture, religion, ethnicity, background, education, um, nationality, all of those things um, go into a pot. And when we talk about decision making, if you can get those diverse perspectives, those generally diverse perspectives um, into a room or a, or a video call and um, ensure that you're uh, being inclusive and um, hearing all of those diverse perspectives mixed in with the, the legal training and the, and the business perspectives, of course, it gives you a much better chance of getting to the right decision for the company overall. How have you and your team collaborated with your tech people to develop your own skills? Well, at Uber, we're lucky enough to have lots of very talented people that we've brought in from places like um, McKinsey and BCG. They have the skills and abilities to analyse all of those different inputs from the, the business, the political, uh, the economic inputs, put them, all, put them all together and then look, look at it in a more scientific way and a more analytical way than just relying on intuition and judgment. And that's really important because a lot of the, pro a lot of the challenges that we face they're not, they're not challenges that have any precedent. Um, no, they're not challenges that have the, uh, a, a correct answer necessarily. So it enables us to come up with a, a primary strategy that, that we will follow, but uh, based on kind of probabilities of success and, and those kind of things and, and what the business wants to do, but then also to develop um, contingencies. Thank you, Matt. That was really fascinating. Thanks very much for inviting me along.